Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm very excited to announce new Nurkle functionality that is adding more ways to parse and transform your data. These new functions will help you extract key data that is sometimes hard to query, from helping you parse your JSON in your logs, to mapping IP addresses in your infrastructure data, to converting OTEL units. Let's jump right in. First, let's talk about JSON parse. Here we have an example where your log message is in JSON. And actually, your JSON starts here. What you can do is you can parse out your JSON, and call it JSON, and using this new function, jParse, it makes it really easy to pull out the values you need. In this case, timestamp and status. This finally makes parsing out JSON so much easier. There are also two additional functions, map keys and map values, which you can run on your parse JSON, which show all of the keys and all the values of your JSON. Next, we have two of my favorite functions, to timestamp and to date time. Here, we have a log message where a timestamp is embedded in the message. Using anchor parse again, we can pull out this time. And in this case, I just pulled out the full date. What you can do with to timestamp is you can convert this date, which is a string, and convert it to an epoch time. I'm writing string here so that the epoch time will show up. Now you have a date time that is able to be used and compared to other timestamps in your data set. If you want to convert this to a format that you like, you can use to date time on this. And in this case, I like having the first three letters of the month, the day, and the year. And there you have it. Now you can take a date from a long message, convert it into epoch, and then convert it into the format you choose. Next, mapping IP addresses. In this case, IP addresses in your infrastructure data. Using this new function, CIDR address, we can map the IP addresses to their base network, which gives us a better sense of where the data is coming from. Here you can see that this number at the end is the prefix length and you've easily grouped your IP addresses by their base network. Now on to encode and decode. Sometimes your data is encoded in base64 format, and decoding that is difficult if you don't have a function to do it. In this case, simply write decode, base64, and now you can decode your data very easily. If you like, you can also encode your data Last but not least, convert. Here we have the duration of your transactions, and you can convert these into a different unit using the convert function. In this case, converting seconds to milliseconds. You can convert any unit to a comparable unit, in this case, seconds to minutes, and so on. This function is also useful for other use cases like OTEL, which specifies a unit at times. Here, the conversion is dynamic, and it can convert the unit into milliseconds. And that's it. We hope these new parsing and transform functions help you find deeper insights hidden in your data.